Today, we'll be finishing up our video series on 2D constraints. As a recap, the last couple of posts emphasize the benefits of using constraints to produce fixed relationships between your entities and points. This tutorial will be discussing the smooth, vertical, horizontal, lock, and hide icon options for constraints. Starting with DraftSight's smooth feature, it installs a relationship between splines and another entity so that they smoothly connect at the point of your choice. It's conducted by selecting the icon, specifying an endpoint of your spline, and then selecting the point on your entity that you want to be fluently combined with your spline. The vertical, horizontal, and lock features do exactly what their name suggests. They make any entity fixed in a vertical or horizontal position or in their current position. All of these operations are activated by clicking on their icons and pressing the entities in revision. Keep in mind that when you add constraints to your designs, their markers are always visible in the drawing window by default. That said, DraftSight has three features that allow you to customize which constraints are shown. The hide all and show all icons will make your constraints disappear and reappear with just one click. The constraint icon control gives you the option to make some constraints visible and others hidden. These are great when using multiple constraints at a time because having their markers present can add unnecessary clutter or get in the way. So I hope you tried these out for yourself to do more with your DraftSight experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSight.com.